Hey kids, do you ever wish you were as wise as Solomon? It would be wonderful to be that wise, but have you ever had something and not used it? Maybe someone gave you a toy that you haven't played with or a piece of clothing that you never really wear. Something that is unused isn't very helpful, is it? It's only helpful if we choose to use it. Although Solomon had abundant wisdom, he didn't always choose to use it as often as he should have. That's what our Bible story is about today. But the good news for Solomon, and for all of us, is that our Lord God is merciful, gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth. And if that last sentence didn't remind you of our memory verse, then you definitely need more practice. So let's say it together. Exodus 34, verse six and seven. The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty. Exodus 34, verse six and seven. Mercy is when God does not give us the punishment that we deserve. As you listen to our story from 1 Kings chapters 10 through 12, listen for ways that God was long suffering and showed mercy to David's family. King Solomon was wiser and richer than any king on earth. He loved God and God blessed him. But Solomon wanted more. He sinned by marrying many wives from different nations that worshiped other gods. Before long, Solomon's wives turned him away from God. Solomon began to worship the false gods his wives worshiped. He built altars on a hill near Jerusalem to worship idols. Then the people in Israel began to worship false gods too. When this happened, God was angry. God said to Solomon, Since you have done this, I will take the kingdom away from you and give it to your servant. You will be the king the rest of your life, but when your son becomes king, he will lose everything except for one tribe. And that is exactly what happened. Solomon had a servant named Jeroboam. One day, a prophet named Ahijah met Jeroboam as he was coming down the road. Ahijah took off his coat and tore it into 12 pieces. Ahijah told Jeroboam, take 10 pieces for yourself. God is going to take the kingdom of Israel away from Solomon. He will let Solomon and his family keep a small portion, but you will get the bigger part, 10 tribes. Ahijah said God was going to punish King David's descendants for their unfaithfulness, but their punishment wouldn't last forever. When Solomon died, his son, Rehoboam, became king. The people didn't want to serve a king like Rehoboam because he treated them so harshly. So they made Jeroboam king. The kingdom of Israel was divided. Jeroboam ruled over the northern kingdom of Israel Solomon's son, Rehoboam, only ruled over the southern king of Judah. King Solomon's sin led to the division of the kingdom. God's people needed a better king. Through David's family, God would send his own son, Jesus, to be a perfect king over God's people forever. Jesus is greater than Solomon. Jesus brings his people together and leads them back to God. Did you find a way that God showed mercy to David's family? David's son, Solomon, sinned by worshiping false gods. Because of his sin, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, was only king over a small portion of the kingdom. But because God is merciful, this wouldn't last forever and the ultimate king, Jesus, would still be born from David's family one day. All of us have sinned and been unfaithful to God. In what ways has God shown you his mercy?